know what I would do about every you. Everybody. Welcome back to Gear Chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Gear Chat. Yeah. Welcome back to Gear Chat University. I am the El Capitan John G. Listen, man. <clears throat> um. Okay. Unofficially, uh, self-proclaimed. Um, I just got word from. Rolling, I actually have it sitting here. I mean, not rolling, that's disrespectful. I actually got it sitting right here, but you know, self proclaimed uh, spokesman for the new Voca that is out. I'm looking right at it, I'm visualizing it right now, and it's beautiful, it's great. The new Voca, you knew they would had to come. I don't know who doing it, I don't know who doing it, but it's too much, it's too much sauce on the table to walk away from. And if you walk away from it, I'm just knowing somebody finna step in and 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 claim that spot. But we we're here, people. I can't talk about it. Uh, uh, I I I I self-proclaimed signed the uh, signed the uh, NDA, so I can't say nothing. But yeah, the the new vocal. I'm visualizing it right now. It's out. I mean, it ain't out out. It's coming out. But it's done. It's made. They got a few little tweaks they got to make. You know what I'm saying? Again, I can't talk about it. I can't even let y'all hear nothing just because, you know, I self-proclaimed signed the NDA. So I can't say nothing. However, though, the case may be, uh, I'm excited. I hope you're excited because it's here. Another, another Voca. Just when you thought Korg was dead. Just when you thought Korg was dead. They had a foot like... <laughs> I did. The foot was twitching. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a twitch. Oh, Korg is alive. It's alive. Korg is alive. And y'all thought they was dead, John G. You thought they were dead. No, no, no. So, yes, uh, Korg on uh, the new Voca again, self proclaimed. Uh, I signed the NDI. I can't talk about it, but you know, I'm visualizing it right now. I'm looking right at it. Oh my God, it's so awesome. I mean, if you could just see what I see. If if, if you could if you could see, I'm getting excited. Let me calm down. All right, so yes, um, I wanted to talk about that. The new, I mean, halfway talk about it. I can't talk talk about it, but um, the new Volca. Um, yeah, I can't I can't wait to you know really get more into. Because it's, it's dope. Yeah, I can't wait for y'all to see it. <clears throat> um, other than that, though, how was y'all week, man? How was, you know what I'm saying? How was the last two weeks for everybody? I hope everybody had a great time making music. Uh, I don't know about you. Um, Shouts out again to Luke Cage. I'm just steadily thinking on how. It's a matter of how. Now, I'm not even, I'm past the point of, because at first it was like, ah, ah, Mook one, ah, it's up there. After after this um, after the uh, wormhole I went down with uh, Murata and Luke Cage, I came out like I'm getting a Moog one. Oh, probably 2020. I'm thinking 2020. That sounds like a good year. 2020 for a Moog one. How beautiful would that be? Remember the the show 2020, and here it's gonna be 2020 for real. That might might be a perfect year to get the Moog one. Um, and that might be the only purchase for the whole year. Move one, like one cent this year. However the case may be, yes. I, I, it's, 
again, I just got to figure out how. I mean, I got to get out here and perform, which is something I have not done, and get on stage and, and rock a crowd or do something. I got to get I got to get paid some kind of way so I can get out here and get this gear that I'm lusting over, because this nine to five just, it, man, uh, it working though. I mean, I ain't you know I got to do what I got to do to to to, to satisfy my lust. And I'm lusting heavy over here. I got to have it. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm showing up. Eight o'clock, I'll be there. <laughs> but at some point, uh, yeah, at some point after I, I have a I have a certain thing that I'm looking for. And once that's done, then it's time to really dive into everything and really getting to know um, my family and um, becoming a monster. Just you know, I'm just trying to put all the tools in my tool chest so that I can just become a a, a complete monster. When you go, this guy John J. Oh my God, you know he's got this and he's doing that and ooh, 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 and so on and so forth. So that's the method to my madness. But um, other than that, I mean, I don't know what else y'all been. You know, that's really the the Volca is just of course for me exciting. Um, to kind of get that news and um aside from that really this week or the past two weeks for me has really been all about that the move one checking out that controller by um <clears throat> by um novation thought about it as eh, just too big for me man that joint is a it's a beast i mean it, it the thing i like about it is the functionality and all of the things that you can program it to do However, I think I'm just I'm set on getting. A, I don't I still don't own a Beast Step Pro. I think that's more my fitting, um, the Beast Step Pro as a controller. Only controller I really have right now is the Arturia Key Step. Um, very nice, a decent keyboard. The keys are a little small. It's like you know chiclet keys. Yeah, I give them. It's like a small key with some weighted action don't really feel like a weighted keys but y'all know what i mean it's you know it's not i've seen smaller keys so i ain't gonna say chiclet but it's chiclet ish it's 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 like a chiclet uh weighted key you know still a great keyboard but you know i don't have the biggest hands by no means so i know somebody with big hands you're gonna have to really um focus on hitting the keys um or whatnot but yeah so <clears throat> I looked at it and yeah, passing on that. I won't get that. I just the beast that pro. However, what it did do for me is led me to, to go back and look at controllers. I mean, I kind of feel like, man, that's a space that kind of shouldn't be that crowded, but it's actually quite a few controllers like Akai, no, uh, Novation, Arturia, Korg, Roland, IK Media. CME, like there's a few people out here, you know, iRig, you know, everybody's got their hand in this controller game. So, uh, like I said, I passed on the MK, what, 3, SL3, whatever it's called by Novation. And I'm looking at these Novation controllers. Um, I don't know Stoney. Y'all know Stoney from B People Podcast. I don't know her by no means personally. But I heard someone say, because I know she's... Well, I don't know, but I heard someone say that she's big on using the Korg uh, controllers to work, I believe, Korg gadgets. And so after I kind of dissed the keyboard, I thought, you know what? Let me go look at these controllers because right now when I use gadget, it's all iPad. I'm not using no controllers at all. And so, you know, it led me down to looking at the one that's a uh, like a little, that's like 160, like a box with the K oscillator pad. I believe it's got the pads on it too. Uh, there's another one with the faders, and another one with pad, a keyboard, and one with just pads. So it's like four or five different options, and I'm like three or four different options, maybe five actually. And I'm like considering, because everything, the highest one is 160, which is like a Volca. Um, that's the one that's got the, like the all in, like all in one studio. Uh, I don't need the keys, but the pad, the, the chaos oscillator pad, the pads, and I believe some faders or whatever. And then, you know, some encoders to map out. 
I'm looking at that, and basically the uh, the one keys kind of interests me to a taste because of it not being actual keys, but them pad keys. So I feel like that for me, not being a keyboardist, the, the, the way I can play that instrument would be a lot different um, for me, you know. Either that or I'm going to go with the pad one because I'm pretty certain you can uh, have your scale on those pads. I really like performing on pads uh, more so than keys myself. But, um, so yeah, I'm just kind of thinking, eh, possibly, you know, because I, right now, like I said, when I use my Core Gadget app, I'm just, you know, playing off the screen. And it would be nice to make it more tactile, put the screen away from me and just look at it and just be able to, to jam out using one of those pads. So I'm really considering getting one or two or three of those pieces and putting together my mobile setup. <clears throat> um, yeah, I feel like, you know, those some key pieces and they got some cool colors out right now. So that's kind of like pulling me in a little bit more the blue and yellow. And I got a like an orange and yellow one. The blue and yellow one is the one I probably go with Brewers. Um, so I probably cop that. I wish they add colors to that studio one because that black and gray scheme with the white lights is so basic and dull looking that it just lacks color. Um, so shouts out to Novation and really Novation. I think y'all the y'all the lead in the color game. I think y'all color game is like the way they use colors is so awesome. I love Novation controllers. All, right now, all I have is, okay, so before I do that, before I buy anything, I want to see if my Novation XL, how I could work that with my core gadget. Um, it's a controller that's got all faders. Uh, it's kind of like a, a way to use, you know, it's mapped to any doll, but it's, you know, essentially I bought it for live purposes. But it's got, I think, eight tracks on it, the fader, some encoders, I believe, and then a mute and solo button, I believe. So I'm wondering how do I hook that up to my laptop, um, which is another thought too, because I don't know, I've never done it, so I don't know per se, how do I MIDI, I mean, how do I USB my controllers to the, 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 uh, to the tablet? Do I have to get that, uh, I think it's the camera connection, hook it up that way, will that work for me? Or do I need to find Bluetooth? So I'm kind of like on the fence there. I haven't quite figured that out. I got an answer on that. Um, because if I need Bluetooth, then the core stuff really wouldn't help me. But if I heard, I heard, heard, I heard someone say that she loves, talking about Stony, loves using the core gadget. So I feel like it has to be the camera connection kit that you get plug it in and then i can plug up the uh controllers i'm pretty certain that's it um but again i haven't done it before and i've never done it uh, ever so i don't know so uh i'm looking forward to figuring that out in the, in, in the weeks to come to how to how to get that connected and seeing seeing about going down that route because i'm pretty certain going down that route so even though you know korg uh because they're old it's not new per se but like I said, looking at that Novation controller, look, the, the features, five stars. You know, that's hands down. The capabilities are there. For me, just the size of it is just a turnoff. It's just, it's huge. It's like, it takes up the whole table, clear the table. Clear, clear the table. <laughs> Bringing it in. Beep, beep, beep. Like, he's just, it, it commands, you know, space looking forward to that just for a controller per se so i think i'm gonna go to b-step pro route um i've been eyeing the novation controller but because i i'm not gonna get it no time soon but i've been eyeing it i really do just want it i feel like it's, it'll be a dope thing to control everything with but i initially you know it's for live and i haven't even really gotten into my push yet like I use it in Corso, man, be on me. He be like badgering me, like, dog, get on your push. Ableton is live, it's raw. I'm like, I know it is, but see when I see my thing is when I use live or computer stuff, I'm so comfortable with the mouse, and I'm so used to using the mouse, it has been real struggle for me to 
learn push properly. And I'm going to just have to force myself to like learn it as an instrument itself so that I can have the breakthrough and be able to, you know, rock out. Because I see, seeing all the videos, I know what it's capable of doing. But for me, man, it's a disconnect. Because when I have to look at the screen, then I grab the mouse. And once I grab the mouse, I'm looking at the screen. I feel like, I don't what am I doing with this thing now? Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break this, you know, I'm having a hard time in some cases, going back and forth. I'm either, I'm I'm so used to working in the box. That's how I started. Everything was done right here from A to B for the, you know, as far as beat making. So now that you introduce these other things, I'm having, me personally, I'm having a hard time playing with everybody else. Like, everybody's me, me, me. And I'm like, all right, once I go over there, I'm over there. And I forget about where I came. And it's like, ah! So... I feel like once I had that breakthrough, I'm going to just become a monster. But for me right now, it is a struggle. Uh, same thing with machining. The sounds on there are awesome. Those machine sounds are complete or control, complete. I think it's called complete. Complete? Oh, my God. Sounds are amazing. But again, there's a little bit of a disconnect for whatever reason. I don't know. I just, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's just I have to get over that hump and 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 do it. Don't run away from it because I don't know it. And that, you know, if I were to critique myself is one of the things, you know, and I don't think I'm special. I think a lot of people, you know, may have that problem. And those that don't, they really persevere and keep it moving. But for us, people like me, and a lot of times I think it has to do with my dyslexia, but I get to a point where, if I don't know how to do something, I'll hit a wall. And instead of getting over the wall, sometimes I'll the wall are like, I'll just go along the wall and just go back to what I know how to do. And and I have to like, no, I have to get over this wall. And then when I get over the wall, the wall seemed 10 feet tall. When I get over and look back, the wall, I could step over. It was a foot tall. But in the beginning, because you don't know, you make it just, how do I end it? It's such a thing. And then when you get over it, once you once that all oh, moment happens, ah, oh, and you you look back like, dude, I'm tripping. So I know what it is. I just have to get over that little stump and make the connection. But for right now, that's the reason why you never seen it because I've never really married to it. I, when I first got it, I was like, uh, 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 and it just led to me going back. All right, let me go over here. I can, I can work this. I'm trying to have fun right now. That's another thing, too. This is a little off topic from necessarily gear, but it's definitely around gear. Um, uh, there's a... When you're trying to... When you're, when you're at the moment, I'm talking about right now at any given point in time, at that moment when you feel like letting something out, this ain't the time to learn. This ain't really the time for you to be trying to learn how to do something because the frustrations of that will mess up it, whatever. If you're trying to get something out, get it out the best way you know how. That's just me. And then aside from that, then you have to, you got to sit down and get through the technical thing so that you, when that moment comes again, when you feel like, you know, letting something out, now you got these other things that you can let out or these other skill sets, these other philosophies or um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, techniques to making music. You can implement them after you've gone through a learning session. So, you know, so there's that. Like I said, for me, I just need to get over some things for from my gear, but just in synthesis alone, and synthesizers and synthesis, a year ago today, I'm way more knowledgeable, and that's just because of y'all, just because of me turning on this camera and opening my mouth and talking and doing this over, I'm gonna say the last two, two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to explain some of the things about synthesizers and synthesis that I now know, that I know, that I know now. Um, and I'm having, I haven't really been astute and really studying. This is just me and the time that I have with y'all that I'm talking and I'm showing stuff. And as I'm showing stuff, it's just repetition. And next thing you know, you're like, oh, okay, this is starting to make 
more and more sense. It's making more and more sense. Oh, okay. This semi, this, um, for those of you that's scared of the modular thing, which is, I've always been saying to myself, I don't, I'm not getting that ever. And I feel like, don't never say that because the only thing you're doing is setting yourself up to actually be that guy. Because now I feel like that day may happen. Five, ten years from now, I'll be standing there in front of this wall, patching, you know. Um, but if you are like, if you, if you're not in the modular world, you look at that and go, pff, pff, get out of here. That's just all these core. I don't know. That's crap. I thought my first thought was, what is this, man? Nobody feel like up here. Yeah, I man. I, I remember the earlier days. I mean, the early, early days. I dismissed that so fast, so hard. Like I'm not doing that. What this is madness. All these pa who gonna remember this? I'm not doing this. But little by little, it's like Mazda just pull you in, just just a little tug at a time. Next thing you know, you right up on it, like, hey, what's going on? Whoa, there you are. You right up on it. Well, semi modular gear is a step in that direction. Once you get that and you start getting your juices flowing, like, okay, okay. And you start feeling a little lofty, like, okay, let me get another one then. Let me get another one. I can already see it. Yeah, it's coming. You finna be that guy. So, like I said, just the time that I spent with y'all in doing this, my knowledge of synthesis has grown. Now, I'm no Mark Dottie and no um, Loop Pop by no means. Not even close. But, however, I'm definitely better. I'm a better John G today than I was two years ago in regards to synthesis, hands down. So what happens if I really sit here and like put them eight hours, uh, 10 hours, 20 hours a week, really working and working, really working to learn and master your gear. Imagine what you would be a year from now if you just put that time in. I saw what my boy did, my brother Corso, a year ago, he couldn't play no piano. This dude practiced, literally practiced. Called him up, what you doing, man? Man, piano practice, man. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. I spent an hour a day, yada, yada, yada. You know, just learning my... And then one day, I just... He sent me a video. He just sitting there talking to me, riffing. I'm like, I'm sitting there stunned. Like, what the... What are you doing? He's like, yeah, it's a little Beatles. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. So then we go and perform. I perform like, uh, three weeks ago. I might show y'all some clips of that. I performed three weeks ago with him on this project that we've been working on. And now he's playing the keyboard. And I mean playing it. So much so I had to tell him, man, like, dude, you really playing this keyboard. Like, and I feel like because, and this guy is a guy that didn't even make beats. He was a straight lyricist. He is, had a pen. His pen was nice. Started making beats. Why? Because he was having a hard time getting beats from beat makers and producers. So he's like, man, after this, I'm going to start making beats. So he started making beats. He started getting a little better, a little better. Oh, okay. Now he's starting to, to music theory and taking piano lessons. It's just a slow. I've seen the evolution. I've seen how he's evolved. And it's simply by putting in time. And I'm really amazed and happy for my brother because he can play the piano. He can play that mug. It's got me going, I can't, you can't show me up. Now I gotta learn the piano. Now I gotta learn how to play the goddamn keyboard. And I feel like to a degree we all should know how to play it a little bit. And I ain't trying to be no nothing. I ain't finna go out here and compete. I mean, that ain't me. But I do wanna be able to riff a little bit. I wanna be on there and go, you just oh, okay, you know, just a little something like, oh, all right, you know, it ain't nothing, baby. Just a little. So for me, it's probably going to be just a lot of repetition of getting finger dexterity, doing those keys up and down the scales and, you know, the same boring stuff over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Keep doing that again and again, over and over again, so that you can really get that feeling down to express yourself. However, still, I love my pads. I'd rather have pads and keys any day. Because you can bang them, bang them pads hard in the mud. However, I saw this dude play the keys the same way. That's what had me going, dude, you was playing them keys. Like, he was doing stuff that I'm like, all right. I'm, I ain't never seen nobody play the keys like that. Dope. So, shouts out to Corso. 
harm life. Um, yeah, I don't know how I, I'm just letting it flow, people. Y'all know how it is on John G TV. I didn't even know where I was going. I was going to go here today. I knew what I was talking about initially, but then everything else just kind of flowed out. Now we just 26 minutes. You know, I do 20 minutes and get out y'all face. So I'm sorry I didn't kept y'all here longer just talking, but I hope you got something out of that. Feel free to comment. Please comment. Let's keep this going. It's all about vibrations, people. I'm vibrating, and y'all throwing me some vibrations. You don't know what y'all doing for me. You don't realize how this is therapeutic for me and keeping me from just falling off and being level and so on and so forth. So shout out to uh, Gear Chat University. Shout out to you uh, for chiming in. When you chime in, however you chime in, I thank you. Um, so please, comments. All that good stuff. I done talked enough. I'm tired of hearing myself. John G. John G TV. I'm just looking around for something. See if I got something. Oh, I hope I got it. I ain't got nothing too slick. Oh, I got something for you. Finally got something. Hmm. What you get, John G? Pixie Weeksy. Pixie Weeksy. If you know what that is, peeking in the corner, put it in the comments. If you know me, you know who it is. I ain't even gonna say the name. Because <laughs> you already know. <laughs> John G. John G TV.